A very good morning, guys, and welcome to New Daily Market Outlook, starting off with the dollar index. So the dollar index moved up in towards the highs yesterday as we wanted. So we can clearly see that we got a push up in towards this four hour area of supply after, of course, breaking this area of supply over here. So once that area of supply was broken, we got that bullish fractal structure. So you guys now know that I do potentially expect that further upside on the dollar index. The only area of resistance that we still have is this four hour area of supply, a very beautiful area of supply because overall we had very clear liquidation right below the area of supply. As you can see, this was your highest wick. Uh, pretty much have kind of like this trend line liquidity lying over here. You can see this high tries to take out that high, this high tries to take out that high every time it fails to do so. So there's a lot of liquidity being built up right below this area of supply. Then what happens, you tap in towards that supply, take out this liquidity high and straight away you drop in towards the downside. So this is the kind of price action that you really need to take into account when trading. So overall, this is kind of, of course, your extreme area of supply over here on the dollar. So it's either moved down from here or not. So what I'll be doing, uh, what I'll be doing today, because of obviously we've already uh, capitalized on euro dollar, Aussie dollar, pound dollar trades in towards the downside, I'll now be waiting for this area of supply to break, or of course to hold in towards Monday. Uh, I'm not going to be trading today on the major dollar pairs. What I'll be doing is I'll be waiting today. Okay, can we break through this zone? Can we break this high? Because once this high over here breaks, then I'll be very confident that we're going to see that four-hour structure shift and that the dollar is going to continue up higher in towards, of course, um, you know, the highs in line with the overall daily trend that we have over here, which is, of course, still bullish from this low in towards this high. So that's what I'm waiting for, um, yeah, in towards Monday over here on the dollar index. Now moving on in towards euro dollar. So euro dollar, of course, obviously the best trade that we had yesterday, absolute beauty. We can very clearly see that we moved, of course, in towards that daily and four hour area of supply. So overall, first of all, from a daily perspective, we have that area of supply. We have that 618 Fib retracement. And obviously, uh, we started to see some reaction yesterday. Now going in towards the four hour time frame, everybody knows the first opportunity came once we got that fractal structure break over here. So we had that four hour BOS over here. And after a four hour BOS, what do you expect? You expect a pullback in towards the downside. When you expect a pullback, we expect the pullback when the fractal structure breaks. So we got that fractal structure break and as soon as we got that, we can see resistance was formed and price dumped in towards the downside. So yeah, beautiful price action as of yesterday. So what I'm waiting for today is pretty much, um, yeah, when are we gonna see for the downside? At the moment, this is your four hour low over here. And ultimately, where you want to be buying is, of course, inside, let's say, the extreme of the overall four hour range. So this is your four hour range right from this low all the way up in towards this high. And we're now pretty much resting at the 786 Fib in between 786 and 618. However, we also need an area of demand. So we had this area of demand over here. So we can also see that once we tapped in towards that demand zone on this candle, you kind of like saw that upside uh, come into the market. As we can see, we tapped in, saw a bullish candle, and then boom, price pushed up. But the overall internal trend on the four hour was obviously bearish in towards the downside. So for now, what I'll be doing is I'll be continuously looking for shorts uh, until we break this high. So as long as this high is respected over here, all the way in the extreme, because this is our four hour fractal high, I will be looking for those shorts. So that is that, um, or let me see, no, this high. So, the, excuse me, guys. So this is your four hour fractal high. So as long as this four hour fractal high is respected, I will be looking for those shorts. So obviously we have some supply resting inside here. Uh, so we could see potentially a pullback on Monday. And then for example, a further drop in towards the downside that would just provide us with an additional entry to look for shorts on your dollar. But overall, there are not really any demand zones because we broke the overall demand flow over here on your dollar. So we can see sell for the buy reaction. And then again, over here, sell for the buy, then reaction. So this sell for the buy was kind of like untouched. So we did see that reaction over here in towards the upside, but because the overall fractal structure was bearish in towards the downside, we were still moving um, yeah, in towards the downside. So now what I'm waiting for is for us to just to simply break below this low. Once we break below that low, then I will be looking for those high probability shorts because then a short from, for example, this zone will become even more of a high probability. So that's euro dollar, uh, waiting for that on Monday. Now going in towards Aussie dollar, 
So Aussie dollar was also an absolute beauty. Um, overall, yesterday we saw a push back in towards this supply chain. Um, again, very similar to euro dollar overall inside the premium still, but less bearish momentum, obviously. So we can see uh, inside premium, once we broke the fractal low over here, we were looking for those shorts in towards downside. So this then becomes your supply, this buy before the sell. We move in and we move back out very strongly. Now this is your buy before the sell off. So we move back in and then obviously we started to move back out again. Now looking on the 15 for today, what can we see? Um, well, overall, this was your four hour or your 15 minute swing structure. So high and then we broke the low over here. Then this became your swing though over here. So at the moment, this is my 15 minute swing low. This is my 15 minute swing high. Um, I see that there is obviously liquidity over here. But we do have, for example, supply located over here. So price could move down from here. Or if we move up higher and we kind of liquidate, let's say this high over here, um, then there is still potential for us to move down from the extreme. So what I would be looking for today is, let's say, okay, is this supply zone valid? Let's see. Um, I would like to see a push down, break of this 50 minute fractal low, then a pullback and then a further sell off for that additional confirmation um, just to see that this is a valid zone. So that is what I'll be looking for. Um, yeah, for Aussie dollar. Uh, let's say we just continue up higher, then that's also perfectly fine. And I'll just wait for the extreme to get hit over here. And then again, just wait for that 15 minute fractal structure change. And then of course you have the highest probability short possible. Let's say this doesn't happen and we just move up higher, perfectly fine. Um, I'll just be waiting for Monday's trade. And then overall, from for our fractal uh, perspective, um, we'll just wait for new fractal structure to form on Monday. At the moment, this is your four hour fractal high over here. So lo as long as this fractal high is respected, shorts are still on the board for myself. So fractal high, fractal low. In between there, you can look for those shorts. But yeah, again, we're inside premium and you want to see the borrower make a deeper pullback in towards, let's say, the 50% mark. So that's why I'm still happy to look for those shorts, trading it from daily supply. And of course, if you want to see the shorting set up exactly explained in detail, make sure to join the Discord community link in the description down below. Moving on in towards pound dollar, pound dollar again as well. Yesterday, beautiful setup overall. Um, yeah, inside weekly supply as well. Somebody pointed out beautifully yesterday. I still have the explanation over here from yesterday's live session. But overall, what we can see is, of course, the weekly reacting to this area of supply over here pushing in towards the downside, making that pullback. Then again, we have weekly supply over here, which we're reacting to this buy before the sell-off in towards the downside, which took out this low. So weekly was looking good for downside, then going in towards the daily, daily buy before the sell. So we have supply then going in towards the four hour. Four hour had a break of structure. After break of structure, you want to pull back. When is the pullback going to happen? It's going to happen when fractal structure breaks. The fractal structure broke high, low, and then in between the high and the low, you go to the 15 minute and you look for the sell opportunity. Um, so yeah, looking for that sell opportunity. Sell opportunity, of course, came in yesterday's video from this area of supply with the 15 minute being bearish because we had a high, we had a low, we had a high, then the low broke, and then this becomes your swing high, this becomes your swing low. And then obviously we made a pullback in towards this extreme supply like you, for example, would like to see on ADUSD today, pushing towards the downside and then just following the overall supply flow in towards the downside once again. Um, because then what you saw yesterday was, for example, over here, this buy before the sell off price tapped in towards there. I'm not drawing the best, uh, the best of the best lines, but then you saw a tap in towards that buy before the sell. And then again, a very aggressive sell off. And then once again, guys, pull back over here in towards this final extreme buy before the sell off tap. And then again, sell off in towards downside. Then this morning, once again, uh, we're now pushing, let me just quickly check. Uh, we're now pushing in towards this extreme area of supply. So drawing it from the body to the wick, we can see obviously liquidity line here, price rejecting. So now what I would like to see is a break of this low over here. If we can break this low, then I would be looking for a potential short in towards the downside for GU, because this at the moment is your 50 minute fractal low. If this supply zone were to hold, then we're gonna break this low and we can look for that shorting opportunity. Um, yeah, to sell off with GU, with perfect liquidation happening over here, um, take out of the Asian high 
and then fractal structure change, and then I would be looking for the cell like this. So yeah, that is GU, um, winning for that setup. Then entity USD, so entity USD, of course, never broke the low over here. As we can obviously see, supply just always hold it, or demand, excuse me, always hold it. Um, so I was waiting for this four hours fractal low to break. Then I was gonna be looking for a short, didn't happen. So yeah, we saw still continuous upside, no issue at all. Going in towards a 50 minute, yeah, 50 minute swing low over here, 50 minute swing high. So then the long opportunity, for example, that came, let's say yesterday, end of day was, um, let's say this is your high, and then this is the low, this is the high. So then what we can yeah, very clearly see is that we pull back in towards this cell before the buy. Uh, price comes in, and then again, over here, you kind of get the setup that you want with a fractal, uh, with, because over here inside this move up itself, we have the fractal structure change upon the break of this bearish candle, which is your setup for the buy. Put the order on top of there, and then you can just target the next high. Of course, you're gonna have a wider stop loss. It's not the best risk to reward, but obviously just showcasing how you can enter these kind of trades. Um, and then of course, kind of like the Asian session comes, so the market gets slow, and then it's not best to be in a position but um, you're just showcasing how you could have traded that long. But then again, four hour is of course bullish, but due to the fact that you have that four hour uh, BOS, you would like to see a deeper pullback um, in towards the lows, at least towards that 50% mark. But I mean, as long as the overall demand flow is holding on the four hour, you can just continuously look for those longs. But preferably, I would have liked to see a push in towards this sub for the buy, uh, which lies right on top of the 50% mark of the overall swing range. Could still happen if it doesn't happen also fine because demand over here did play out going into our last pair of course gold so gold still just ranging um yeah not really moving at all i was looking for this zone first of all for potential pullback we did start pushing in towards there but no real follow-through overall here on today's chart we're just ranging so not going to be doing too much with gold i'm still looking for that potential short i would like to see let's say this high get taken out because now the current structure does seem a little bit bearish like this. So let's see if we can take out this high and then I will be confident that we're gonna see that further upside and I'll be happy to look for longs once again. Going in towards the four hour, that is also, let me see, yeah, so fractal structure wise, uh, we broke this low, so that became your high over here, became your low. Then we broke this low, that means that, let me see, so this becomes your fractal high over here, this becomes your fractal low. So the, the the high that I just pointed out on the 15, that's not your fractal high. So yeah, let's see, we could still move down from here. If we do, perfectly fine. We look for longs from here or here. If we break this high of, what is it, like 2050, then we look for longs upon a pullback in towards, for example, this imbalance candle over here. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Wish you a fantastic day, and we will speak very, very soon inside Discord. Thanks, guys.